I hope you guys are ready. We definitely need to put on our tinfoil hats for this one. What's up, everybody? I'm Jackson. I'm Kenny. And we are JK, JK Builders. Builders. If you're new to the channel and you love Lego, you should definitely subscribe. And if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, it helps out the channel a whole bunch. And it's always appreciated. This is something I've been thinking about for a while. And there has been some key evidence to support the idea that we may be getting another modular building the first half of 2024. Now, take this all with a grain of salt. This could just be my crazy ideas. Um, but there's a few key points, I think, that kind of lead me to believe this. And I'm certainly hopeful that we get another awesome modular building the first half of next year. Give it to us, Lego. Give it. The modular building that I think most Lego fans want is what, Jackson? The hospital. A hospital. There's a few things. There's like a hospital, a school. But the thing that I hear over and over again is a modular hospital. When will we get a hospital? So point number one that I'm going to make that we may be getting a Lego hospital in the first half of 2024 is the museum is being released on December 1st. Yeah, for years, modular buildings have been released January 1st. Always. At least Always. as far back as I remember. Maybe they weren't back before we started collecting Lego. Uh, but as far back as I remember, January 1st was the modular day. Now, it never really made sense to me that they released them on January 1st, which was literally days after the Christmas holiday. So it does make more sense to release them on December 1st so that people can ask for them and get them for the Christmas holiday. However, it's a break from tradition for Lego. It's something different. It makes me feel like there's something fishy going on. Um, so the fact that they released it on December 1st makes me believe that they could have something else planned for next year. Now the modular buildings are super popular. Like, so it would make sense for them to want to release more than one per year. So that's item number one. The unusual behavior of Lego with releasing the museum December 1st rather than January 1st makes me think that maybe they have something up their sleeve. It's kind of sus. It's a little bit sus. Item number two. So a couple months back, the popular YouTuber Brixie, who's also a member of the Lego Ambassador Network, had the opportunity to interview the designer of the Lego Museum. And during that interview, at the very end, he asked the designer, will we get a Lego hospital? And you know what his response was? Yes. His response was no comment. Now he very easily could have said no. No, we're not getting a Lego hospital anytime soon. Um, he probably wouldn't have come right out and said yes. But the fact that he said no comment leads me to believe that they have something cooking. They got a Lego hospital in the works. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? No. Mm -hmm. So that's item number two. Brixie asked one of the main designers at Lego if we're going to get a Lego hospital, and his response was no comment. Item number three. In a video that the popular YouTuber BrickClicker did just a few weeks ago, he was showing some brand new pieces and parts that were coming out for Lego, and one of those items was this. We have a thermometer and we have a syringe. Both brand new pieces, brand new designs, brand new Wait. molds that I, were just created and revealed by Lego. I swear that there was already a, a shot thing. There might have been, but these are new. These are new. I don't know if it's a new color, but these are both items that would definitely be used in a hospital. Right? Mm -hmm. I think so. I mean, obviously there could be a whole series of sets that could use a syringe and a thermometer, um, but the fact that they're brand new and they're just revealed by Lego leads me to believe that they're cooking something that has to do with a Lego hospital. I have an idea of what could use these two. What? It could be like a science lab, like testing. It's no, a, it's a hospital. A, a testing facility? Think it's about that. Think hospital. about that. Think about that. <laughs> and then on top of all these things, we just need a Lego hospital. We are long overdue. Every city needs one. I know there's a lot of mocks out there. People are tired of these mocks. We need an official Lego set, modular building that is a hospital. You can make one really, really cool. Um, hopefully they make a big one that is like tall and maybe a base plate and a half at least. Now, of course, this could all mean that maybe we're just getting a... a modular hospital December 1st of 2024. I don't know, maybe one's in the works for the year after that. But the fact that they released the museum December 1st leads me to believe that they have something cooking for the first half of 2024. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree with me or am I just crazy? Do you think we're gonna get another modular building in 2024? Yes or no, let us know in the comments below. Jackson, tell me your thoughts. Am I, am I going crazy? Like, is this something that, just a wild idea or do you think there's some, some hope and possibility here? Uh, you're not crazy. That's all I know. You're not crazy. Are you going to hold your breath that we're going to get a modular building that's a hospital I'm in the first half of 2024? I'm crossing my fingers. Not but... holding his breath, but he's crossing his fingers. So, <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are trying really hard to hit 3 million subscribers by the end of the year. 3 million? 3 million, yeah. What? Help us. We're just about there. 
3 million subscribers. We're right on the cusp. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so that we can get there. And until next time, keep, keep on, on jumping.